Would you tell other transplant kids to come to this camp? Yeah. What would you tell them about it? I'll tell them. You need to come to the, um, um, this camp. It's fun. It's so fu fun. You might want to come next year. able to do things that a normal kid could do or at least attempt to them and if you didn't get the transplant then you couldn't. I want to be a cardiologist when I get older because I've experienced a heart transplant and I think it'd be really cool to show kids that I've been through the same thing as you and so I can I can tell them like what to do and what makes it better. I'd probably tell them that after your transplant you'll probably feel more strong and feel like you can do a lot of other stuff than before. It's a good experience for them to get away from home in a safe environment where their parents can feel confident that they're getting all their meds and that they're going to come home feeling great. <laughs> the counselors are really cool here because they're like big brothers and sisters I've never had. <laughs> Um, I just like this camp and hopefully I'll get invited back next year. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What's your favorite part about camp? Um, seeing all my friends and playing with them and meeting someone new. I'm just, I'm happy to see the, the kids here just, uh, what seems to be like them having the time of their lives and uh, just getting out and, and uh, being a kid again, living life to its fullest. My name's Doug Armstrong, and I'm the director of Camp Mishitaki. One of our transplant children has been without sight since birth, and she looks forward to coming back to camp every year and fully participates in all of the activities. And this year, she actually climbed up the, the tree and, and up the ropes course. And, you know, nothing has deterred her. It's really great to see all of the children in her cabin and all the rest of the camp sort of cheering her on and being a part of, of everything that she's been able to accomplish. And I think that that really illustrates what's special about this camp. Nice job, Bob. Nice job, five. Right here, five. Nice job. One of the special features of camp is a pill taking class for some of the younger kids. Many of these children had their transplant or were sick at a very young age and took only liquid medications. We give them an opportunity to sign up and take a class that teaches them how to swallow capsules or, or tablets and, and get a chance to get away from the liquid medication. They can sort of forget about being a transplant kid for once and focus on just being a kid and attending all the normal activities that the camp offers. And, that's, that's really a, a great thing to, to watch happen uh, with these kids as they go through their week at camp. I eat breakfast, I, I go to arts and crafts and do a really good job. Then I go horseback riding and have lots of fun and now I do outdoor cooking and try new food. When I grow up, um, I have no idea what I want to do. Camp Mishitaki rocks! The ball is ticked. There you are. You're running for your life. You wish.
shooting star and all the years no one knows just how hard you work but now it shows in one shining moment it's all on the line one shining moment they're frozen in time time is of a knife How that moment's gone When it's done Win or lose You always did your best Cause inside you knew That one shining moment You reached deep inside One shining moment You knew You were alive Your heart, feel the wind in your face. It's more than a contest, it's more than a race. Take 15. <laughs>